In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an Instagram feed in Elementor. The great part is that the plugin works great with Elementor. They have their own Elementor widget, so you guys are going to love this. This is just going to be a quick video. I just thought I would record it real quick because I was installing this for a client and um, I just thought it was really cool because uh, it integrates great with Elementor and it's really simple to set up. So let's go ahead and get started here. Go into your plugins. Go ahead and click on add new. Now go ahead and search for Instagram feed. Now you can, now this is a plugin here. It's called Inavi. Now in case you guys cannot find it, I recommend you type in Inavi just like this. And it's this plugin here, Inavi for Elementor. I know that it only has 300 and plus installs, but trust me, it is great. I think it's a brand new plugin. It barely has like a month in the market. And um, it's really simple to set up. I've tried other plugins in the past and there's just a bunch of setup and they make it really easy in the streamline and super, super nicely. So go ahead and click install now. Go ahead and click activate. Now I'm going to click on skip just because I don't need that. And then now you can choose whether you want to grid, a gallery, a row, a wave, and then you can also choose to upgrade if you need to as well. So I'm going to click row. Now this isn't a promotion video. Um, I just thought the plugin was really great, but hey, if the creators want to reach out and maybe provide an affiliate link, that would be amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and click row here and then click next. And look how easy this is, guys. And then it just shows you um, layout preview here. Click next. Now you can either connect it to a personal account or business account. Now, in case you guys don't know, Instagram has uh, two type of accounts. You have a personal account on Instagram, then you can also set up a business account. So just choose a correct account that you have. I'm going to choose a personal account because that is what I have. And now I'm going to go ahead and allow this here. So now that you've added your account in there, we can go ahead and give our feed a name. I'm just going to call it IG feed. I mean, you can probably call it whatever um, name you would like. Most of the time, you probably associate it to your account. Maybe you have uh, four Instagram accounts and, you know, you can associate it with that. So I'm going to click save here. And then your account has been successfully linked. I'm going to click done. Now, let's go ahead and set this up on my, um, my website here. So I'm going to go into pages. And then just pick a page that you want to add your Instagram feed. I'm going to add it on this page. I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. I don't need my Instagram tab open anymore. And then I'm going to add it down here. So I'm just, I'm using containers with Elementor. I've got a row there. I'm going to go into my widgets and I'm going to search for uh, Instagram. And it's going to be this one. Just drag and drop it in here. Pick the feed. And then you can go ahead and choose um, the number of Instagram posts that you want to display here. I think I only have like four on my account. Uh, I think five, I believe. And they're all videos, so it might look a little bit different for me um, than how it's going to look like for you. So, uh, and then on mobile, you can also set this up too on mobile if you need to as well. Which is great. The number of Instagrams on mobile here. If you want to shrink that, maybe have four. Really depends. I'm going to leave that at five. Instagram layout. You can choose. Right now we have overlay. If you want to choose flip box, you are going to have to upgrade. You can adjust the sizing here. Do large, medium. I usually just do large. You can choose to uh, uh, open it up on an Instagram link or a pop-up or even a light box. Um, I usually just have it as a pop-up. That's fine with me. Um, this, the, the, If you want to have like a show avatar, show username, you can display those things as well. I usually don't. Um, and then here are some other options that I think you need to upgrade. And then the footer box as well, in case you want to have a follow for Instagram. Um, that looks kind of cool. So let's see. Now I'm going to just keep it unchecked for right now. And then now let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, it's right here. So it's pretty awesome. We have all that set up there. Um, and then you can go, like I mentioned, you can adjust the settings here, but um, I noticed that there are some bugs. If you start adjusting some of these settings, 
your feed may not display properly or it may not display at all. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's still a fairly new plugin. So I think they are um, still fixing some bugs there that they still need to adjust. So, but I did want to share this to you because it does work um, and it is great there. And I feel like it has a lot of potential. And in case you guys are wondering how to build this hover box here, I'm actually using GSAP and I have a video on this on my channel. Um, so go ahead and take a look. I'll try to maybe link it somewhere above here. Uh, it's a really cool animation there as you can see. So if you guys ended up enjoying the video, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.